warmed up, dried off. Uh, how did uh, your racing go today? How did you like the course today, Katarina? I had a really good race, and uh, the conditions were challenging. Yet, I think that's part of cyclocross. I really, I really liked it. You know, it's it's nice to have conditions that uh, um, are changing throughout the race. Every time you like start thinking, "I'm so good," you just wipe <laughs> out. So <laughs> uh, they kind of, you know, this condition kind of keep you sharp, and it was a good practice before the rest of the season. How many times did you hit the deck today, Katarina? Only once. It was my first lap, and there were a lot of people to see it. I was so embarrassed. So for the rest of the race, I tried to keep it together. <laughs> so, uh, Katarina, you look very smooth out there. To going, you know, sighting into the turns, going through the turns. How many uh, either equipment changes or tire pressure modifications changes did you do before finally getting uh, what you started with? Well, I, I won down with pressure since yesterday. I mean, it was totally different ground today, so just went down, not not a whole lot, so just, just I don't know, just riding my bike, really. Give us some numbers, numbers, atmospheres, PSI. Uh, <laughs> I rode at uh, 20 and 21, I believe, today, um, and my second bike was set up at 19 that I grabbed up for last lap and a half. So. All right, Georgia Gould, uh, Cincinnati's favorite Heka Lee, I guess you would call it. Georgia Gould, do you know that you are probably responsible for, we have a uh, an auto heckler at the top of the hill, the, the heckle ghoul, you are, I think you're responsible for its creation. What do you, what do you think, are you honored by being uh, Cincinnati's favorite heckle Lee? Absolutely, and, and seeing the heckle ghoul in real life was really the reason why I came for this race. <laughs> So, and seeing all the people, I was like, no one's going to come out to this race. It's freezing. I mean, the season's over. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Because for all of us that have been racing hard all season, I mean, we got up this morning. It's all overcast and cold. I'm like, why am I doing this? And then you get out here, and you guys are all out here heckling me. And it was awesome. So thank you guys so much. It was really great to race for you. All right, so Georgia, wait, you can, I got oh, my own mic. I got my own. We can do a uh, wrap off, you know, like a, no. So the same question I asked Tim, like, uh, so you don't want to hurt yourself today, right? And you don't want to waste yourself, but uh, we're competitors, we're bike racers, you get on the line and the inner beast is uncaged and how, how much, uh, how deep did you go today? Like, uh, were you really twisting the throttle today? Full Full effort? No, it was more like a recovery pace day for me. So yeah. I was really saving it all for next weekend. <laughs> Just doing the bare minimum to get me by. No, I mean, I was, you know, I go dig deep in every race I do. I mean, no matter where I am, if I'm at the front of the race, at the back of the race, I'm always, you know, giving my all because you never know what's going to happen. And, um, you know, it's like out of respect for all your competitors, you know, do do the best you can. So um, I dug deep today and tried to stay upright and, you know, did the best I could in the slippery condition. All right. We're going to uh, we're going to switch gears here a little bit, Scott. OK. Why, why don't you? Yeah. All right. Get up, great rover here with me. I've got Vince Bozeman's over here. Yeah, Vince Bozeman. <laughs> That's right, over here taking second place today unofficially. How was the terrain today? How are you feeling? A uh, little bit tired. It's a long flight over, yeah? Yeah, but it was uh, last week we came to, uh, to the US, so it was uh, good to pick, uh, to pick this race uh, today before uh, the World Champs. Very nice. How are you feeling ahead of next week's? This is a good test. You were saying you like to get out there, stretch a leg a little bit. How are you feeling about next week? Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be uh, interesting next week. Uh, the World Champs, the first time in the U.S., so uh, I look forward to it. Absolutely awesome. We'll see you up in the podium in about two minutes. Thank you very much Woo! for stopping by. We'll see you right up on top of the hill there. All right, and also doing very well today, Yasmin Ackerman from Rafa Focus, the best dressed uh, ride out there. Yasmin, how long have you been uh, here? When did you come over? Uh, I arrived at Monday, I was in there. and I stay in the team house in Louisville. Yeah, uh, how do you like Kentucky? Yeah, that's a different state than here. Do you like Kentucky? Yes, I like it. <laughs> have you ever been to Kentucky before? What? Have you ever uh, visited Kentucky? No, it's my first time in the USA. First time, yeah. First time in USA, first race in USA. 
So what are your impressions of uh, the United States cyclocross uh, scene? Uh, I like the guys here. The <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's enough. And I, I think they help us uh, riders so much, so they they uh, speak and hope, hope. <laughs> and we could not believe how you fought your way back up. I mean, it's believable, but hey. Uh, yeah, you know, the goal today was just to really kind of put a final touch up on this training that I've been doing. And um, I guess I mistimed it a little bit at nationals, maybe a little too much training. And then I think we're just right now, you know, today was not a day to go 110 percent. It was just to kind of, like I said, put that finishing touch on. So we always knew I was going to start easy. And um, yeah, it was nice to be able to have the power come on as expected at the end for me. So it was good. Good. A little bit about tire pressure and uh, course changing. Everything felt right today? Yeah, I mean, the course was very slick. It was unpredictable. Certain sections got uh, worse and worse as the race went on, which is typical, you know, in the United States. It's uh, really, really slippy. So, uh, you know, these are the best guys in the world. So it doesn't sound like, oh, man, there's, you know, another 50 guys over in Europe that I got to worry about. That's, those are the best guys. So it's, um, it's nice to see how we stack up right now. And I'm really excited about Louisville. That's awesome. Speaking of Louisville, so you got about a week. Tell, talk us through the next five, six days. How's it look for you? I mean, it's just, uh, you know, hang out, go check out the course, and try to stay as relaxed as possible. It's a, it's a really big opportunity for us, and actually, regardless of results, it's, um, I'm really really just happy to be part of it. It's a special event, and it's going to be great. I'm, I'm really excited for cyclocross in, in America, and uh, you know, this is the first step towards a, a much bigger picture. So, Absolutely awesome. Everybody get Judging how the race I, by the race that I just had, I think uh, I tried to get all the crashing out of the way, the mechanicals, um, but you know, like, we were talking about it this morning. We have such a we have such a huge week, and it's um, it's. I don't want to get caught up with the uh, the technical. Got to get ready for this kind of thing and, and miss out on the whole the whole week. I just want to have a great time, and you know this is something that's never going to happen again in my career. So it's pretty cool to have all these guys here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you've raced in Cincinnati before with our uh, with our UCI three races. You raced here before, I believe, with. So how did uh, the course ride for you guys today? Did it change from start to finish, or was it getting the, the mud's freezing on the bikes? Was it, did it feel like uh, it was freezing on the ground? Yeah, the first couple laps at 11.30 noon was um, totally different than what we just raced in. It was, it was changing every, every half an hour before the race started, and now it went to the reverse. As the race went on, it just started to get icier. But the mud is really, the mud's pretty tricky. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw all those crashes out there, but... It, it takes a lot of us by surprise, and you know I don't know how it was up uh, at the front of the race, but I can hope that uh, everyone is dealing the same thing. Yeah, we saw a lot of muddy backsides. Uh, so your Cannondale CyclocrossWorld.com team was busy in the pits. You were pitting uh, every lap, every half lap, every other, every other lap. Yeah, some guys pitting every single every single lap. What's the bellwether for you, or what's the tipping point when uh, you're going to come in and uh, get a new bike? Uh, usually if the brakes start to, to have problems with the shifting, but this mud really isn't that heavy, so when it was getting frozen on the bikes, the bikes really didn't gain that much weight. All right, Tim Johnson, we'll let him get cleaned up and warmed up Cannondale Cyclocross World.